everyone, this is Matea. I'm the CEO at Artano. And today I wanted to show my face, first of all, and talk to you guys because a lot of you have asked me, um, you know, who is behind this project? What are you building? Why is there no website? So I wanted to answer all these questions. And I also wanted to talk about my amazing team of, that is growing of six people, uh, core members, uh, as we call them. And I want to also explain how the initial website or web app would work uh, when it's being when it's done, basically. Okay, so what is Artano? Uh, Artano is a Cardano-based NFT art marketplace uh, that has a global focus, low fees, and uh, that tries to really put the user first. So it's a user-driven platform. Uh, why we chose Cardano? I mean, if you're not in the Cardano community, uh, Cardano is a very sustainable in terms of uh, it's a very sustainable blockchain in terms of the. Uh, you know, a sustainability in a traditional sense and environmentally friendly. And also it is a sustainable for businesses, which means that it's easy to scale and it's an overall amazing community and project. And I love being part of it. So um, now, uh, before I answer a lot of your questions, I would like to introduce my team. So uh, on the business side, we have Maria and I. Maria is our COO. She's uh, worked for, I've known her for eight years, and she's worked for auditing businesses. She's a business analyst and financial person on our team. Uh, she has graduated from MIU Shanghai. She speaks five languages, uh, Mandarin, Spanish, German, English, and Serbian. And she was born in Bosnia. We went to high school in Bosnia together. And we actually started a sort of a, a business um, kind of thing. It's not, it was a social service um, business with shelter dogs uh, in Mostar, Bosnia. Um, and after that, yeah, we se went our separate ways. I went to the US, she went to China to study. Um, and me, I am Matea, I'm the CEO. Uh, I work as a, as a software consultant, so as a software developer full time. Uh, I work in Java and front and the back end technologies. I've also worked in, on Infra stuff, some Kafka, some DevOps stuff as well recently. Uh, and I'm moving recently, actually, in a few days, I'm moving into a front end role, so React. Um, Golang as well. So, uh, and uh, I have eight years of experience, uh, eight years of music experience. So I've uh, classically been trained to play guitar classically, and um, I have um, also painted in the past a bit. I have composed music, went to music production school, and yeah, that's pretty much it about me. I'm originally from Serbia. I studied in the U.S. Now I'm in Germany. I know complicated story, but uh, I love moving around, and uh, now I'm in Germany. So when it comes to our development team, uh, we have Ronald and Sandeep. Uh, Ronald is an amazing resource. He has 25 plus years of experience in IT businesses. Uh, Sandeep and Ron together form a team and they have their own dev team, uh, which we are collaborating with. Uh, and uh, Ron and Sandeep are part of the core team as well, so they're co-founders. Uh, Ronald, uh, he has, uh, he worked in several uh, business uh, in several projects on Ethereum, um, including um, high art high end art projects, and they have an overall super magic experience for Artano actually because we are an art marketplace and we are a um, you know we are a blockchain business, so they have a really fast experience in this. Uh, when it comes to Sandeep, uh, and sorry, Ron is originally from uh, the Netherlands and he's based there. Sandeep is also based in the Netherlands. He's originally from Nepal. And uh, he has a dual, double master's degree in security and privacy. Uh, Sandeep is super smart and he is a super great software developer and architect. Uh, he has built applications for Bitcoin back in the day when Bitcoin just started and you know when you can afford a Bitcoin. <laughs> um, I mean, a full Bitcoin. Um, and so he has experience in a few blockchain projects and yeah, they form an amazing team. I'm so happy to have them on it. So next is our newest two members, Mohammed and Edgar. They joined about this at, at about the same time, I think three weeks ago. Uh, and uh, Mohammed is our lead content manager. Edgar is our lead designer. Mohammed has uh, over 10 years of experience in content creation. He's worked for both public and private uh, companies. And he's worked um, as a part of an exhibition which uh, was inaugurated by Her Highness Sheikh Mazab bin Asr in Qatar. Mohammed is based in Qatar and Edgar is based in Spain. So as you can see, we are a very, very international team. And I'm super happy about that because it brings more perspectives to, to the project, right? 
Um, on the other side, we have Edgar. Uh, Edgar is doing our website right now, and this is the question, of course, that everybody's asking us. When is the website going to be done? We're in the finishing phases, and Edgar is responsible for this. He's making amazing designs for our website. Um, and he's worked for 100 plus clients for big uh, European um, as a, uh, he's worked as, a, as an advisor uh, for big European uh, projects, and also he has um, a 10 plus years of experience, same as Mohammed. So we're super happy to have him on the team. Uh, there are other team members that are potentially going to join. We have a legal person who is in the pipeline, and we hope to introduce him soon. Uh, he's also a longtime friend, and we hope that he uh, joins our team too um soon um and yeah so what i'm going to do now is explain what our tunnel how our tunnel will work especially at, at the beginning with the council um what the fees are and so on so i'm going to go to the whiteboard here and explain these things to you so basically <clears throat> i'm going to explain to you how the process of applications work on our tunnel. so basically what is going to happen we will have a council of 20 uh, members we're still accepting applications until may 5th so, um, and uh, you will uh, be, then we'll interview them and we're going to uh, sort of, you know, talk to them, see if they are fit for us. And they're going to be the ones curating this platform. Actually, it's also a decision-making body. So if we want to have a new feature, it will go through you, the community, and them. Um, and later on, we'll be able to change them using the uh, token uh, called Arda that we're going to uh, introduce to the platform. So, uh, <clears throat> when it comes to the council, so it's 20 members, we have a nodes, we call it like, or like individual nodes, like imagine a graph, and uh, you have their connections first that are gonna, they're going to invite. So, we have people from all over the world, we have people in, you know, from Spain, France, uh, UK, US, um, we have some folks in Ghana, in uh, Senegal, India. And so it's all over the world, basically, and we want to have a multinational, like multinational, multicultural council where we can find different perspectives. Also, diversity. We want diversity in terms of gender, so we're trying to find women artists, and um, so that we have different perspectives. And it's not actually you know just a one type of art from one country, like we sort of see right now. We want to have a multicultural uh, platform and platform for the whole world, not just for you know. Unfortunately, like two or three countries where current NFT marketplaces are based right now. So, what happens is you are the artist, you're here. You're going to apply to the central place uh, on the Artano website, and we're going to start filtering out applications. So, what happens is well, if you get accepted, so if you don't get accepted, we're going to uh, probably send you an email or a message saying this is why. For example, you have a new Twitter profile and we didn't see any art there, or you didn't send us enough art, or something like that. So like, it's, you're always going to be given a reason if you don't get accepted. If you do get accepted, the artist is going to approve your application, so, um, and you will be able to post as, mint as many pieces as you want for zero fees. So we take zero fees from you if you mint your art. So you can um, mint as much as you want, but you cannot sell as much as you want at a time. So you can put up to five pieces on sale. So five individual pieces are on sale. When it comes to the um, first sale itself, so let's see, let's say a collector appears all of a sudden, they love your art, they want to buy it, and then you keep 95% of the profits we will take a first cut of 5% on this sale. Uh, what, this, what this means is, um, why, why this is, is because a lot of platforms uh, like Rarible, um, for example, they have lower fees, but there's also Super Rare has like 15% fees, so we want to be kind of between that. And then for secondary sales, we call them primary secondary sales. Primary sales are the first time you sell an art piece. Secondary sales is the subsequent times a buyer sells them, so a collector is selling to another collector or artist, and then we're going to take 2.5% uh, from secondary sales. Now, the thing with our Artano is you can set these parameters um, you know, easily, and that's also the advantage of Cardano, the blockchain. Everything can be set up easily with smart contracts coming up soon. We'll be able to actually configure these things, and also the cut that goes to the curator or the council member. Uh, the cut that goes to Ortano, the cut that goes to you that you want to keep with each subsequent sale. 
So now I'm going to answer a few frequently asked questions. I have a list. It's a really short list here. But basically, people ask me and my team about, you know, who we are. And I hope this clears up, you know, who is behind the project. Of course, I'm going to bring more people in. Uh, I'm not just going to be the only one talking. I don't want to be the only one talking. Um, and so um, I want to um, explain, you know, some of the timelines maybe. Uh, and so basically, uh, we are planning to release something within weeks from now. Uh, the final product itself, which is also the question, when is Artana going to be released? Actually, the marketplace, we want to do a very good, high quality job and to have a legal also uh, perspective on who the art belongs to uh, when it's sold. Is it the artist? Is it Artano? Is it the buyer? Uh, what is the copyright? The copyright of the, of the art piece itself, right? So we want to really focus on uh, these legal and technical issues and not just have problems that a lot of NFT places are experiencing right now because they want to jump on the boat. So we want to actually, you know, take our time. And to me, it's really important to just deliver, deliver a high quality product that won't last for, you know, a few months, but it will be there for years and years to come and, and create a really sustainable business, similar to how Cardano is actually a sustainable business and how IOHK, IOG is trying to build a blockchain for the whole world and that will last forever basically so i hope that clears up this sort of a slow pace that we are having right now we're seemingly slow actually a lot is going on behind the the the, the surface and uh, i just wanted to share some of it with you now like what we've been thinking about what we've, we've been you know doing so in the past few months um uh, so i would like to also thank my team i would like to thank you for listening and um Please subscribe. You know you can join the, the channels. We have a Telegram. We have Reddit r slash Artano. We have Artano uh, underscore underscore io on Twitter. Uh, you can subscribe to these channels and uh, please do because it's it's an amazing place for us to get feedback from you. It's not just for us for you to follow us, whatever. But we actually want you to interact with us and tell us. You know this is really a lot of in fees or this is you know something that maybe you should bump up the fees maybe you should lower them maybe you should uh, form the council of 30 members instead of 20 why didn't you think of this and that we want your feedback because this is a user-driven platform it's not like a platform for Matea and his team it's a platform for artists it's a platform for buyers so if you want to see a certain type of a platform you can inform us and we can build upon your suggestions I mean of course we're not going to take all of them but we hope to at least, you know, take into account the feedback we get online. So thank you so much for listening again. And um, I look forward to seeing you on Artano. Uh, and yeah, stay safe and see you there. See you on Artano.